standard by which the recovery is being measured. The, the squirrel is, we are told that the squirrel population is persistent. Uh, we are told that the yeah, habitat is protected normal. and the threats are going down. The, the agency itself admits they have no understanding of what the population is. So they've turned to this strange term persistence, which means once in a while a squirrel pops up, and that's their science for uh, going all the way from endangered to no protection at all. The habitat um, that they have described is not in agreement with all the major scientific papers. They describe the squirrel as being totally dependent on a red spruce habitat, when in fact it's, it uses both red spruce and northern hardwoods. And so when they say, well, we'll protect red spruce, they're losing, you know, half the habitat. This is this misdefinition of habitat could be fatal to the squirrel. Thirdly, they talk about threats decreasing, and in that case, they say um, we're protecting the squirrel on the Monongahela National Forest, and there won't be any logging under the new forest plan. But reading the details of the new forest plan, logging is allowed in all the habitats where the squirrel exists. It's allowed in red spruce habitat, which they have singled out for protection, but still are allowing logging. It is allowed in the northern hardwood habitat, and it is allowed in hemlock, which is another place where the squirrel is, is found. So the, it is not being protected from logging. It is not being protected from road building. They claim that flying squirrels have the ability to glide 140 feet and therefore could cross a four-lane highway and be fine. This is absurd. They base this on one study, one letter, anecdotal instance of a squirrel crossing a power line, and they compare that to a four-lane highway. They also would, in order for the squirrel to glide the 140 feet, you'd have to plant 200 feet trees along the edge of any highway to allow them to get that amount of glide going. We also find a flaw in their numbers. They are saying that 1,147 squirrels have been found over 21 years, and that's enough to say the squirrel is fine. We looked at the original field notes for every one of those captures, and we are able to confidently claim that they have only ca caught 654 squirrels in 21 years. That's 30 a year. They didn't even go back and look at the basic research to see what was there. We are uh, very upset with the shoddy science being done here. And we are upset that the recovery plan is being thrown out, which apparently, I'm surprised to learn, is happening all over the place. We're part of a national trend. We don't like it. So what would be your recommendations for uh, correcting this flaw? We would like a blue ribbon scientific panel be, to be convened on this rule, proposed rule, to review this science and come up with another, with a recommendation. We would like this panel to consist of independent scientists, scientists that are not part of the agency, either Fish and Wildlife or the Forest Service. That's what we would recommend.